Welcome to Common Man Cocktails, the Monday edition. Don't tell anybody, but I'm not supposed to release a video today. Uh, there's really no legal ramifications for that or anything. I just like to take a day off, but I can't. <sighs> because this just arrived today from Drink Up New York, where I purchased this and a bottle of chartreuse. I think that's how you say it. Uh, see you Curacao, Curacao. Now, if you've been watching the show for, I'd say, a year and a half, you've seen this because we've busted through a bottle. If you haven't caught on by now, tons of cocktail recipes that we've used have blue Curacao in them. And uh, I was kind of upset that I had gone through my bottle because I can't buy this yet locally. And that is a shame. So what I wanted to do is I got something in my blue Curacao besides my finger cork. Um, what I wanted to do is just sit down with this little beverage. This is uh, Senior Curacao Curacao liqueur. It's basically a, your blue Curacao, but it's not a run-of-the-mill blue Curacao like, say, all right, let's 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 make somebody angry. Uh, crap, I don't know where my blue Curacao is. It's got to be here. Here it is. So this, the, the Kuiper, I think it's the Kuiper uh, brand has the blue Curacao, but it's really just kind of like sugary, and it turns things blue. Ooh, it does not contain high fructose corn syrup, so that's actually kind of interesting. I didn't know that. But nothing that I've ever had on this planet can match Senior Curacao. Not a sponsor, but would be awesome if they did. Uh, it's just it's an awesome product, and I endorse it. I'm making a video about it. And I've had it before. I had a review sample sent, and uh, this one I bought myself because it was just so damn good. Burst Lahara fruit, I think it's called Lahara fruit. It's not an orange. It's a family of oranges for Curacao. This is this looks like an orange. No, it's not an orange. It comes from an island of Curacao. Does it say produced and bottled on the island of Curacao? Uh, certified color added. Obviously, blue curacao is blue. It's not really it's supposed to be. They have clear. Ha <laughs> ha! I've got the clear version. They have a yellow. If you go to drinkupnewyork.com, you could buy the yellow. Yellow. No, orange. Sorry. Like my ties. It smells like it smells like a like a soury a sour pith. The peel, the sour, that zesty bite of an orange or citrus fruit, specifically more of orange. Almost got a little lemon lime. If you could imagine, if you had, ooh, if you had like 7-Up and you poured a little bit into a glass and then you sprayed an orange zest all over that glass and smelled it, I think that's that would be what this smells like. But really strikingly strong. The mouth feels amazing. By the way, another common question, do these taste any different? No. All of the Curacao variants are just color based. It's not to say they will not layer in a different order. Weights of a uh, senior may be different than the weight of this brand or other brands. So you gotta look those up if you're trying to do layers like red, white, and blue cocktails. The mouth feel on this is awesome. It's not too syrupy sweet. It almost has like a, a limoncello, I'm pointing because I see one, a limoncello bite to it. Now you can drink this straight. It is an orange liqueur, but this really complements this brand specifically, complements a cocktail. The other ones tend to just bring a little sweetness and oh, maybe there's a little little orange play. For orange, over a blue curacao of another brand, I'd probably use a triple set because it's sweet and it's got orange. This brings some bite. It brings some sour zest, not sour, sour is the wrong word, zesty bite. Where if you bite into the zest of an orange, you go, oh, it really, it, it zings you. But it's not, it's not a lime, it's not a lemon. It's just got that sour bite thing going on that affects your face. This has that, and that is supposed to be what's there because this fruit is not really editable. Editable. Editable, that would be if you could edit a document. Edible. 
You don't eat them very often because they're not really that type of fruit. What do people do with things that they can't eat? They distill it. It makes the most sense. Nobody sits down and eats a handful of grain. You make beer or bourbon or something. Corn, well, you go either way. You know I'm not. So it brings some of that heritage to it. It brings the color you need. So when you start to use the Senior, you're going to get a cocktail that has your color that you expect out of Blue Curacao, but it's going to have the right consistency, the right flavor, the right bite, and that orange family heritage going on. It's the zest that really makes a difference. It's just like if you make a cocktail with actual limes. Go make a margarita with that, I don't know, almost I dropped an S-bomb, that crappy ass high fructose bottle thing that's supposed to be sour mix, and then go make your own. And you're going to see a huge difference. And I think that appreciation for cocktails is growing because you see things like, I don't have it here right now, it's downstairs. Uh, Malibu has a Malibu dark brand now that brings more intense rum flavors, less sweet on the coconut. It specifies this isn't as sweet as Malibu original coconut. They're figuring out that people actually want to taste some of the core spirit. They Sweet's nice, but you want to go someplace else with it. That's one dimension. We want more dimensions. For Blue Curacao, this is an intelligent man's common man uh, spirit because it brings the blue and all the stuff you need in the orange and the core, but it brings its heritage. And I think that's huge, and that's why I suggest, I don't even know how much it costs. Go to drinkupnewyork.com. I think it's in the 20, I'm going to say 25. Does the label have it on here, maybe? Imported by Price Imports. I've interviewed these uh, Henry over at Price Imports who, who made this known to me. Um, no, I don't have the price on here. They don't put it on the bottles. But... It's not this, six to ten bucks. This, go 20, high, 20, uh, high teens, 20s. Maybe even high, and depending on where you are, could be 30. Totally worth it. And that's all I had to say about that, Senior Curacao. Hopefully you guys enjoy the tasting. You're going to see this not this week, but in the future, because we've already recorded this week. In the future episodes, when Curacao is called for, I'm going to use this. It's where I usually use bourbons and stuff, and I mix them up because I like to taste the different brands and give everybody some showtime for Curacao specifically. And there's other things I do that with where I'm, I, I, I stick with one brand because I believe in it. This is the brand I believe in. So uh, that's it. EverydayDrinkers.com. Check us out on Facebook. We're Facebook.com slash Cocktail TV. And uh, we're teaching how to drink.